hello my lovely family i hope you are all doing great in today's video i'm going to show you how you can simply remove any kind of viruses from your windows computer without any antivirus it can be windows 11 10 or even 7. all that you need to do is to follow all appropriate steps so let's begin first of all if your windows is already updated then you can please skip this step but if not then you can come to search and type windows update Then scroll down and click on download. What this option will do is to update all important Windows files to its current version. This will also update your built-in virus defenders to help overcome any newly created viruses. So this step is a very important step and should not be disregarded. Here you will see that all these pending downloads will start downloading one after the other. So you will need to wait patiently for all the process to finish then after restart your computer. After the computer is restarted, disable or disconnect your internet connection. After that, we have to manually remove some unwanted registry, cache and temporary files which some were created by the viruses itself. So this step is a very important step because we need to slow down the viruses and even free up some disk space which has been occupied by those junk and unnecessary files. To do that, right click on start and then run. Then type TEMP and press enter. Now click on any folder and hold Ctrl plus A to select all files. Then hold shift and press delete to permanently delete the files. Click on yes and tick do this for all current items. Then click skip. Do that again. If some of the files are left behind and cannot be deleted, that is fine. After close this window and right click on start and then run. Now type percentage TEMP percentage and press enter. Click on any folder and hold Ctrl plus A to select all files. Then hold shift and press delete to permanently delete the files. Click on yes and tick do this for all current items. Then click skip. Do that again. If some of the files are left behind and cannot be deleted, that is fine. Again, click on search and type this cleanup and run the app. Then click OK. Here I'll suggest you check mark all items. Like I said, the purpose is to remove bad registry, catch files, temporary files, unwanted files and also to free up disk space. Then click on clean up system files and click on OK. Again, tick any file that is unticked. And click OK. Then delete. So all these junks, bad registry, temporary and catchy files will be deleted. Now again, come to search and type Windows Security and click on it. After, go to Virus and Threat Protection. Then scroll down and click on scan option. Now here there are 4 types of scan methods. I would suggest you use full scan or Microsoft Defender offline scan to thoroughly scan and remove any viruses. After click scan now and wait for the process to complete. After if you still feel there are some viruses on your computer then you can right click on start and click run. Then type MRT and press enter. After click next. Now select full scan mode and click next. Now you will observe the scanning process. Wait patiently for it to finish. Then after you are done. After the next step is to open your browser. It can be Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer and many others. I am using Google Chrome, so I'll run it. Then I'll click on the three dots, then extension and manage extension. If you don't recognize and use any app extension, then I will suggest you remove it by clicking on remove.
after close the browser and you are done for this step after our next step is to right click on start then run and type appwiz.cpl this will show the programs that have been installed on your computer here what you need to do is to critically observe in order to uninstall any programs that you find suspicious some infected applications can be installed on your pc without your knowledge this is why updated windows and updated antiviral programs plays a very crucial role to minimize the risk of infection in case you identify any suspicious program just uninstall it I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please let me know in the comment section if you need any assistance. Also please give me a like for this video and subscribe for more amazing tutorials. Thank you very much for watching, have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.